right folks is the original Bushman again on the TV nice right about now me adventure baby and IT boy adventure baby hiding there yeah she a little vexed for something so um so we heading on a little Karani bird sanctuary tour today we're going with Miss Tandanan and the crew and we're going out in the bird sanctuary and see what the vibes about I went down the Karani river a few times but I never went into the sanctuary where the scarlet ibis is coming and stuff so we're going to see where we see they go if we see any snake, monkey, you know tiger, ocelot, whatever yeah I'll be going out there Bringing it to you all. Nice. Right about now, we now stop and get some pies. We placing them pies and we heading up north. We are a bit late, but not too late. We might be on time. Yeah. Right now, we heading to Charlieville, a place called Charlieville. Yeah. So, anyway, stay tuned for that. Little adventure, educational stuff. So, yeah, we are the same. Say something. Say something. Tell them about your puppies, where you get, how much puppies you get and stuff. Yeah, adventure. We get five new puppies. When we reach home, we can show the puppies in the end of the vlog and we will see. Right? Some nice puppies. Yeah, she lifted them up already. So, yeah. Alright. So, we now enter in the arm. Entrance to the bird sanctuary. Currently flyover. Just before the flyover, make a left and the next left. Yeah, that is the entrance to the bird sanctuary. Nice. So you come in here. You're not going up on the arm um, ramp. Make our next left here. destination. See this sign there? Yeah. All right. Nice folks. So we by the bird sanctuary here heading out in a while. Yeah the guy says about four or five boats going out and this boat is a dinner tour. See the guy setting up the table there. Nice. Yeah the guy setting up the table on the middle of the boat so people can sit down right wrong and you know Big. so this is the operations here so it have actually one two three four it have six boats here and i believe four boats going out so this is a real big tour yes now yeah Yeah, so this is the um, atmosphere here right now. So we had this man standing on this boat here. Preparing it to fiberglass. This is one of the tour boats. Yeah. Nice. So that is the preparation there. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Man say you have to sand it down properly before you put the fiberglass on so the fiberglass got a hole on it. Yeah. So when so this boat might go back out in the water? By Friday. By Friday? Yeah. Alright. It it had little leaks or something? No, it's it just I'm um, seeing some wood ending on it. I'm put back new new wood on it. Alright, right, nice, nice. Because I do the inside already. Alright, cool, cool. Yeah man. So there you have it. Prepping off our boat before it fiberglass. Nice. How about the other say? This not can't fit me good. Oh, alright. I good. <laughs> he good, he doesn't want to say nothing. Um, alright, so the guy now say it have crabs on the bank. Them holes fiddle a crab. On the right. Alright folks, so we reach uh, about 500 feet away and somebody get all, forget all the snacks and food on my van tree. So we had to turn back, go pick it up and then head back. So <laughs> real drama on the sand tree tour so far. 
Yeah. Nice. All right, so we now get a little snack from the fellow boat members in the back there. Cheese puff. Let me see IT boy one. How to tell Chicken good. Nice. Yeah, so folks, the reason why I wouldn't be turning the camera on the back of the boat is a crew in the back there. They want to be videotape and not now. So, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, a crew in the back. Let me just say a crew in the back now. Alright, so I'm be mostly in front here. I wouldn't be recording the boatman because the boatman way down to the back and I up in front. So I'll be doing my own thing now. I know much about the swamp, but wherever uh, uh, Captain say, well, well, you gotta take that. Mm -hmm. There is a stick. I just getting the information from the back and relating it to you all. This truck that we now pass here used to be a Seuss gate. That is when Karen in 1975 was in operation. And a road going over the Seuss gate to go inside there where it has some, I don't know, sugar business or something like that. Nice, so there's a bo um, boats in front. Yeah, so in a bit we go catch up to them. So we have a boat constrictor on the tree there. I know if the camera can't pick it up, so nice. So we moving again. We are the um the bird sanctuary museum in a distance there on your left. As we can come down and you'll see all the um cac cac carcasses. Carcasses are the animals that live in the bird sanctuary. So you can come down and take a little tour of the bird sanctuary um, museum. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the other talk a little quiet here. <laughs> yeah. They are having dinner. Dinner on the Nanans Express. Oh, I have some pull over here. Nice. Are we moving through this swamp? Yeah, folks. A while back, I do um a crab catching video about two inside here with the with the aluminum boat. Yeah, that is somewhere on the right side bank. Yeah, so we meet up the next crew here and we're heading out now. Sandfly starting to bite. Yeah. Oh, we going inside here. Yeah. All right, that boat going on. That boat going on next way, and we taking this way. Yeah. See a sign on the left there, mark entry by permit only. Always coming down this river straight down. Never take left or right. So first time, first time I go into the, to the um, sanctuary itself, where this Skylar Ibis came come to sleep in the night. Yeah. Nice, so this is a real experience here. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, so the boatman gave me this. He said this is where the bees are suck on to make honey. And it really sm it's smelling nice too. Hey, we have some blue herons flying. Oh, we have some blue herons flying in our distance there. What? Marvelous, too bad. Hey, look at the next one fly down there. Nice, so we will come back on when we see something epic again. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> we almost thought the boatman turning back because the water real shallow. Seeing the leaves on the ground here. Nice, and we have them little rotted trees, they just looking pit yeah, perfect. Check it out. Nice. So, yeah. 
some blue heron flying in a distance and actually folks the water dropped by about two feet here when tide high the water is be i don't know if you all could see the the um water mark on the tree yeah Nice. <laughs> well, noise in the back. Yeah. White birds, white birds inside the mangrove. White her white heron. <coughs> what we used to call them back in the day is white chalk. <laughs> yeah, dong maru. Yeah. We have something different than a blue heron flying there. I know. Oh, look, we get in one there. Nice. So I know far till we reach the arm, um, real opening. So yeah, stay tuned. Side. I believe that is a process the boat manality. Yeah. That is why this part is a gunnel of the boat. This boat this part built fat and tough. So you could take jamming on the two sides. Yeah. Spring effect. Nah no spring effect here. Some mini box watch the spring effect. When the boat hook a branch and it spring back, you could kill kitty people in the back. Yeah. This is the part we hear is the big crabs, but this side prohibited. Now nah, look, we have some scalatibers flying inside the mango. Okay. Oh, there are plenty. Yeah, it are, it are real plenty inside it. Yeah. I think the camera will pick it up. Yeah, boy. Over a hundred inside it. Yeah. Nah. Right. Birds here, the most colors I've seen. No, no, no. Okay. We keep it then. Nice. So we pick an up piece. Next, next stream to the left there, and we come into our opening here with. Wow. Look at that there. A, a wooden shock there. Fall long or something like that. That's a watchtower or something. Yeah, tower. A bird watching tower. Nice. Yeah, folks, so that used to be a, a tower. I think a bird watching tower. Nice. So we back in open waters here. Not in the main river, but. You know? Yeah. Nice, so we are at our next opening in the, in the sanctuary here. Tiny Swamp Bird Sanctuary. And it. Hmm. Real magnificent. Yeah. And we have the next boat in our distance there. One, two, three boats. Yeah. So I believe they're going to tie off. I believe we can tie off on one of them sticks and chill out there till the bird come in. There are plenty of um, flamingo in a distance. Oh. 
Wait, 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 watch them. Watch, watch the um, Scarlet Eye, watch them. Alright, I'm gonna get close up with this here. Yeah, next set coming through there. Yeah, look there. One o'clock. One o'clock. What? Uh, Alright, so the Batman say it have one dark one in the crowd there is a young one. You know? Oh, yeah. While the young days be dark when they get the age days change colour. Yeah, so it have two dark ones there. And the red ones flying all over all over. Yeah. <laughs> If I could come in here with the aluminum boy, if I get a pass. <laughs> wow, that is, that, is, that is the real side there. Fine night then going on about there. Yeah. Nice we have a little fine night then going on there and I'm and the bushman only receiving thing to eat his polori, his puffs, his cake. <laughs> Niceness here. What's going on there? Hmm. Yeah. So I don't, I don't need to vlog action. Speak louder than words here. Wow. Wait, what you Nice of you. Just relax here and watch the birds them flying. Nice, so we go and get the um, the boatman go and give you a speech. Yeah, yeah. When we go in back, I'll make the noise. Right now, we're still quiet. Yeah, yeah. So, the birds, all the lessons, they come in to sleep here. This is their house, right? They go, they go and feed all over. Remember, we saw them in the mangrove. Now, look how you see how they're in the mud quiet there. So, during the day, they go and feed, and they come back in the areas like this and stay the night. They stay whole night here, next morning as the sun come out, they go and feed again on crab and shrimps and fishes, all these things. Then sometimes you see them coming from the west far yeah. point, they migrate sometimes? Yeah, they could some come up south, then it's oh. Nesting time is April to October. So the small white ones, egret, snowy egret, catly egret. You have little blue herons, you have tricolored herons. You may see some big white, look, 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 look. Wee. Building nest on these trees, same type of trees. And they lay about three eggs. The eggs are slightly grey with brown spots and mark. 
seconds. Incubation is about 26 days. Only? So when the young one appear, yeah. It's black in color, like a little small black chicken. Yeah. And it, then they get gray. And after nine weeks, when they're ready to leave the nest, they get gray with white on the side. So the dark ones with them, that's the young ones from last year. Okay. And it takes them about three years to get red. But they must get the food. The crab and shrimps and fishes, all these things. We get keratin from the food, keratin passed through the flesh and feather tissues. Together, the chemistry of the bird that enhances the red color and takes about three years. Once they get red, they will be in a color till they die, and lifespan is about 25 years. What? It also varies in sexes. Male birds are slightly larger and more bright in color. Look more, look more on this side. 31 inches across any wing span in the male against 29 the female. They also have very long beak and a scope downward. 7 inches in the male against 6.5 in the female. The bird is red except the tip of the wing is black. So watch where they're flashing. You see all have black wing tips once they're red. This is our national bird. It became a national bird in 1962. Before that, we were legally hunted for the flesh and feathers for carnival kind of costume. But when we got independence in 1962, it was also chosen to represent Trinidad and Tobago coat of arms. So there was a total ban on hunting these birds. But we still have problems with this bird. Full of Chinese swarm, some more coming in here. We have about 25,000 skeletitis. And these birds are found naturally in the Caribbean, only in Trinidad, the whole world. In the whole world? Yeah, naturally. Oh, naturally. Yeah. We, that, that's something. Yeah, but you can't see them like this and at all like this way. It is thick, proper day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, not yet. Why? Because they are more freshwater, that's one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh freshwater, yeah, right. It's in salt water. So maybe later on it might have. The other sense that before they go send some sense. Yeah, if they had the food and things. Yeah, yeah. What? So I see them tall one day just now. Oh, look long so. Let it flap. Let it flap. They have real big boys. Yeah, yeah. Look, I just want to tell you. Watch this. Look, three young ones there. This one is more than a man. Yeah. They have a hot in season. So when they look close, that means you can't have no way. No way, no way, no way. On the, on the, when you're going on the left side of the river. Right, on that side. Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're coming down, will be the right side. Yeah. You could hunt on that Fish side. Fish and hunt on thing. Yeah. But you still can't catch the birds then. No, if no, they no. If they come on that side. Yeah. Well, you could hunt the, like, crabs and... Crab and get fish, get the oysters. Yeah. Know, well, the oysters are healthy inside there, right? Yeah, well, most side now, you see, now, the dry season when her rain has it falling. Muck them, it have a muck anyway inside there. Yeah? No, well, you see the little clam. Remember, we saw the oysters, yeah, the smaller thing in the roots. That is um, muck. I'm already calling it not muck, commercial clam. No, mussels, mussels, yes, mussels are talking about the long one. Uh. Yeah, well, muck and mussels, two different things. Muck and mussels, two different things, yeah, yeah, yeah. Muck does be in the mud, mussels be on ship barnacle, like, yes, right. That has been the root and the ship. And right, right, right. <laughs> but the muscle has, and the muck has been mud. Yeah. That has been the mud. Right, right. I find it. It's not in. No, no, no. Look more right there. Nice. So there you have it. The most of the birds reaching and ready to sleep. It's about 6 p.m. here now and we're going and head out. Heady. We're going. The white one is mixing with them. Oh, look, it's exact thick. Yeah, I yeah. uh, yeah. lose this rope here. Don't do it. Yeah, exact six. Nice, are you ready to head back now? Yeah, it was a, ni it was a nice experience. And? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Ja, ich bin ja der Tok, ja, der Tok. Ja, der Tok. Ja, der Tok. Ja, der Tok. Ja, der Ja, da war der Naboot. 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 Ja, da in the back with your cousin then but we can't show the back yeah we can only show the front yeah the magnificent too yeah um the boatman say something to her he say about two to three years back we never had flamingo in the swamp and they just appear they keep appear and keep coming eh? look we have a plane eh? look we have a plane there eh? They looking like it, they're moving. Yeah. We have a bank there, like it have an ex that channel there or something. So the time is about 6.30 p.m. and well that's the time the boat is, them has reached back to drop off the, the passengers them and yeah hope you all enjoyed the little small vlog video about the bird sanctuary and the birds coming in and stuff so nice folks don't forget to like subscribe comment share the video share the channel link and to see now is over and out this vlog over and we out here so nice